bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. Oh my goodness, welcome back to Recipe for Disaster. Do you remember this old game? Well, we're diving back in. Why are we diving back in? We're diving back in because it's, uh, it's released. It's fully released. It's out on Steam. You can get it full. It's no longer early access. It's time to buy this game and try it out in its full release version. Now, okay, there's a bunch of stuff going on. I'll talk about some of the updates here. But uh, the first thing to note is that there are, I mean, you've still got your tutorials, obviously. Uh, but there are also some new scenarios. So they've added Dragon Rising a little while back. But now they've added a few more here that are going to help you understand some of the new content. One of them, and, and me, by the way, as well but one of those new things that they've added is in fact the bar they've added a bar it's the best i can't wait to build a bar in this restaurant now i am going to need your tips because i'm going in not fully blind i'm obviously an expert at this game i'm basically the best person at this game ever let's play easy <laughs> and i i uh i just i just you know i don't have you know a million years a million hours on my life anymore so i can't really play this without you know pressing that record button. Also, I just kind of enjoy it. I enjoy finding it out, and I enjoy the tips that you're about to all give me for di diving into a new restaurant. So, in honor of Recipe for Disaster making it into the full game, let's take a look at the custom creator rules thing here, and let's make ourselves a new restaurant. Um, easy, medium, or hard? Easy, medium, hard. Well, we can go hard. Uh, I think we want... I mean, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll go hard. We're going to go... Let's like be in the suburbs. Let's make a little suburb. Let's make like a one of those, yeah, like one of those little neighborhood restaurants, I think. Let's go for like either, I mean, we're gonna have to let the decorations take us where we wanna go, but I think I wanna have like lots of outdoor seating or something, it, it seems fun. Now, losing conditions. Negative balance at any time feels rough for me. I mean, I get that it's hard. Negative balance at the end of the day. Could be okay, I guess. An employee is fired or quit. Now that's, again, I don't believe in that for a restaurant simulator. I believe you need to be able to fire. Like part of running a restaurant, the tycoon restaurant aspect is is firing, you know, employees. Like, come on. Serve any carnivore dish? No, thank you. VIP grade below five. Now the only issue with that is, I mean, I assume it doesn't happen right away. Let's go health inspector grade below five. This is part of their new thing uh, called uh, dynamic events. Uh, which they will have in the full release of the game. I, I think it sort of counts as one of the dynamic events, which is basically the health inspector is going to come by and take a look at your restaurant. If this thing is too dirty, if you have too many rats, if your food sucks, you're going to go down a grade. So we need to be very careful here. Uh, and if you see me heading into any traps, let me know immediately uh, so that we can turn this restaurant around. I'm going to be relying on you guys. Dynamic events, few, uh, fine. Dirty, I guess this is the hard settings, so we'll start start with the hard settings here. Uh, dirtiness, hard. Yeah, I mean, restaurants get dirty. It is what it is. World events, on, yes. Customer mood is hard. Restrooms, hard. Oh, they'll really use them a lot. Okay, customer flow is high, which means a lot of people are going to come to the restaurant, which means they're going to be lining up, which sounds good, right? But it's a, the problem is you're going to have a debuff on your popularity if you can't seat them. So a lot of them are going to walk away and give you bad reviews. Themes now is really fun. So there's new thematic decor uh, with the uh, with with recipe for disaster. So uh, with the Dragon Rising campaign, it received a lot of praise apparently. That people loved it for the thematic decor. So they've explored that even more. There's more culturally inspired objects. Uh, maybe some Japanese bonsai tree. Maybe we'll make like a little sushi restaurant. I don't know. So I kind of want to go. No theme. Seafood, steakhouse, fast food, homely food. Let's go homely food because, again, it's going to be outdoors. This is going to kind of mirror a restaurant. Maybe not in design, but it's going to mirror a restaurant near near my house that I quite like uh, in my mind. I have no idea what's about to happen. Affects how differentiated your customer's food preferences will be. High, low, medium, high. Okay. I'm going to go medium uh, just because I don't want them to come in and be like, no caviar, zero. The reviews are going to be hard. Starting employees, a few employees for hire, a few employee salaries, medium. Employee mood is hard. Fires are hard. Fair dish market was hard. Infinite ingredients is off. Oh boy. I don't think this is going to last very long. I don't think this is uh, this restaurant is going to make it. Uh, I am a little concerned by starting this video off with uh, so much confidence. 
I think we're just gonna have to play really carefully here and do what we can. So let's get started. I bet you're all gonna watch right away as I make a few mistakes. But hey, that's recipe for disaster. I mean, the thing is, how many restaurants have I made? Like two, maybe three uh, in early access? So I'm feeling like, yeah, this was potentially a, a bad idea because um, I don't, I'm not that experienced at this game. But we're going to play it hard. We're going to see what happens. So right off the bat, we've got 7,500 doubloons. We've got this little square of a restaurant. Here's what I wanted. Here's what I dream. A circular shaped one, maybe. With the restaurant in the back half, maybe some seating in the front, but then seating all around the outside with a beautiful garden. That's kind of my dream for this restaurant. But to do that, we're probably going to have to make an absolute, uh, st you know, stinking, filthy, rich amount of money here. So, I think the first thing we need to do... Oh boy, this kitchen is tiny. We might have to make this kitchen bigger. Let's get rid of that trash for 50 doubloons. Try not to get rid of too much other trash just for now. Let's, um... I don't know, man. We build the wall out, but that's like, okay, hit the Z key to remove that. Now, can we move you? Yeah, let's move this. And then I think it's an alt. What thing takes away the... Uh, I guess there's no... Yeah, I'm trying to remember if there was a delete key for the walls. Okay, we'll match all that up later on with the old, absolutely wonderful X key, which is our sort of, our what's it? What do you call that? The eyedropper. Love the eyedropper. I mean, it's only a, that was only a dollar, so it's fine to have that filled in. Okay. Now, the lavatory. We're going to need one basically right off the top. Otherwise, we're going to start taking huge problems. So, unfortunately, it's going to have to be the cheapest one. And I think the first thing to do... Oh, I want to build it so bad. I want the bar so bad. We can't do it. We're not doing the bar. A six-tool bar. Deluxe six-tool bar. Oh, my goodness. We dream. We dream of having a bar. Maybe the bar's outside. In our, in our futuristic uh, circular... It might have to be a bigger restaurant, actually, now that I'm seeing it, because, like, this bar takes up a lot of room. I can't wait to get to it, though. And unfortunately, folks, you're going to have to wait for me to get there. We have to save up our money and save up our ability to, to try some experiments. That's the main problem, right? Oh, they redesigned the rat trap. It looks different. It looks so cute. If I was a rat, I'd for sure go in there. You know what? Let's get one. We're going to need one. What's our, our ambience overlay? It is heavily affected by that rat trap. Can I move it? Woof. Let's put it by the back door, I guess. Ooh, yeah, that ambiance is a problem. That ambiance spreads way worse than I thought. Okay. Where were we? Toilets. Uh, doors and windows. Okay, isn't it appliances? Don't they count as appliances? No, they have their own thing. Restroom. All right, we're going to put the cheapos. A minus, t minus 20. Ugly. So I think we can go like this. We should be able to do... Okay, we'll go sinks right here. I'm going to go wall. Build me a wall. And then we can go... No, we need a bit more room, don't we? Yeah, this is not like clan folk. You can't do... They're not going to just run over things. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to sell these walls here. I'm sure some of you are already seeing some rookie mistakes in restaurant design, and that's because I haven't been keeping up with my building of this, uh, you know, of this place. This is my first foray back after a little while, so, you know, bear with me or yell at me. Now, where's my stall doors? Kitchen door, back kitchen door. Isn't there, wasn't there a bathroom stall door? Swing door? Oh, but what about some swing doors? That's not bad. I don't think there are stall doors. Interesting. Okay, okay. Fancy glass door. You know what might be uh, easier? Okay, let's hit the move key here. You know what? Here's what we're going to do, folks. Boom. You know what I mean? Little, cute, separate washrooms. This is what we're going to do. Uh, build wall. Wall right across there. Wall right across there. Bring that Z key up to get rid of these walls here. Okay, let's go for a regular old solid door. This might be too many washrooms, I don't know. And then as soon as we can, we're gonna try to decorate those bad boys. But right now what we need are some appliances. How do we have 6,600 doubloons left? Okay, I think we're gonna play this like down the middle uh, as well. Cause what's gonna happen is that first day is probably not gonna be a great day. Let's just be honest. So what's gonna happen is people are gonna come in they're going to scream and yell and complain about what they wish we had. And then we're going to have to respond. 
You know what? I'm gonna go... I'm spending money on deluxe stuff. Right out the gate, I'm going deluxe with it. I don't know if that's a good idea. Let's go deluxe stove, too. Because I, I, I think Vito was a great uh, fry guy. All right, then we need some uh, storage here, storage shelf. So yeah, expanding our kitchen is gonna need to, is gonna be pretty important uh, right away. Let's get this guy on a angle like this, so we can duplicate it with the C key. Get two in there. Ooh, this is a tight little kitchen. Hey, okay, and then let's get a fire extinguisher here. We have 4,700, 4,800 doubloons, 4,700 doubloons left. Can I get another one in here? I just feel like things are gonna burn. Okay, we got a decent amount of storage, decent double fridge, a deluxe fryer, deluxe stove. Oh boy, okay. Let's go for, I, I don't know why I'm already so stressed. I want exact, any, any chance I get, what I'd like to do is, uh, is, is, is boost the, the vibes in the place. So like, we aren't even in the green yet. So I, I'm spending a little extra on these things, like fancy chair, fancy wooden chair. Okay, same price, so let's do these ones. I think I did that in the last restaurant, so I might change this up, but again, right now, what are we trying to do? That's right, you said it. We're trying to just get through one day. So that's a lot of tables for our one day. Um, Ambiance, how are we doing? Not great, getting close to the green. Let's put some stuff on the table. What do we have? What is that? Wine bottles rack, oh man. 250 doubloons for a six with a nine spread. You know what, before we unpause the game, we can always sell it. But that's what I'm talking about. We want to get to that green. We want people to be kind of happy here. Uh, welcome to the old sword and shield. That's what we're going to say to them when they come in. We'll be like, welcome to the sword and shield. You know, to, uh, drop your cares at the door, friend. 3,000 doubloons left. we got to be careful. I don't know if this is good, what we're doing. Let's go four with a spread of two instead of two and four. Let's go the lamps. Let's go with these ones. Was that 80 doubloons? Yeah, these are pricey. I think again, I think worth it. Okay, we want to get start. We want to get into a place where we're actually, yeah, I think like solid green is gonna feel good to me. Okay, maybe some plants here. Again, we we gotta be careful, but we can sell all this stuff off when we get a, you know, once we before we start basically. Wow, 300 doubloons for a giant painting? That's like a huge buff. <laughs> I mean, they're gonna love going here. They just might hate the food. I might have to sell that. I might have to sell that bad boy. An aquarium's only 200 doubloons? Okay, good. That's created a bit of a buff here. Or we could just put it right, like, anyway, I kinda wanna do that. Now, the bench needs to be rethought its positioning. Let's move it to, um... Hang on, hear me out here. I don't know if this is a good idea. Part of the restaurant is not accessible. Yeah, I'm working on it. Give me a second. There we go. Okay, here's the, here's my theory. We gotta pay attention to this because if they take their break right here near this aquarium, that's kind of a natural buffer. It's a bit green here. Let's see if we can't get that even better with like a. Um, we could do another painting. 300 doubloons though. There. See, now their rest area is quite green. The customers are going to walk around that to get in here. Where's my signage? I guess the sign's here. That's weird. Can we have the sign? We can't have the sign on the sidewalk. That's probably why. Yeah, this is a weird design. We're going to... I mean, this is the restaurant we're going to use. We're going to expand it a little bit, and we're going to use this to save us money. That's the plan here. But all I'm saying is if they enter... No, hang... How about this? Bingo, bango. Let's move this wall rack. Move that boy. There we go, that's a little better. So now we've got this back area. We could even move this aquarium over to the door, get that green back there. No, you know what, I kinda want that over there just to create a little separation and to keep that area green. Uh, there are some things we could do over here. I don't know if we can afford another painting. I, I feel like I'm going crazy right now, like what I'm doing is so stupid, maybe. That green, oh, cause it's a one, so that's a tiny spread. I don't think that's worth it for, well, I mean, it's only 10 doubloons though. What else do we have, though? A hosta for 50 bones. Gets a little more green going on in there. A little more green. There we are. Okay, so they're comfortably green, so they like the ambiance. We could get some windows in there. How much are windows? Okay, these these boys are expensive, and I don't know... I mean, they'd probably do something for lighting, so it might be a good idea to get some in here. 
but they're not like they're not blowing my mind with like what they can do for us. Oh, for heaven's sake. I just clicked and did that. Okay, let's uh, delete that, please. Sell that. Hopefully, yeah, okay, that didn't cost me anything. So again, if you're looking for tips, do your design work before, uh, you know, don't open the restaurant right away. Get your design work done. Oh, it did kind of green things up a bit, didn't it? Okay. And then open your restaurant because you can, you can sell things right now for uh, not as much of a... Yeah, it's actually a really great idea to have that stuff. Okay, we got to move this wine rack here. Okay, actually, windows are probably... I mean, there's another tip for you. I think windows make a better green space, like a better, a better buff to your restaurant than, like, all this decorations I just tried to put up. Okay, we've got a, a stove and a deep fryer and a tiny little kitchen that we need to expand ASAP. But to do that, we're going to have to put some things on the menu. We're going to have to order some things. So, staff, what do we have? Hireable. Oh, that we have current staff already. Oh, I should have checked this out. I'm an idiot. Okay. We have got a deep fryer. We have somebody who hates deep frying but loves serving. This is our server. I'm going to add a group and call this uh, front of house. Save group. I'm going to put you in the front of house. Excuse me. <laughs> and then I'm going to go here into Vito's area. I'm going to go uniform editor. A uniform name. Back. Uh, oh, yeah. The Cook Boys. But with an I, just so that you know, you can be ladies and boys if you want to cook here. Okay. Cook boys uniform. And this is going to be, we're going to give them like a, you know what? Let's go. What, what kind of colors do we have here? Oh man, this is, this is going to take forever to open this restaurant, isn't it? <laughs> I, I kind of like the red, to be honest. Let's go with that shirt. Suit none. Okay. Wait, wait, what's the, oh, the pants. Oh, I kind of like those, to be honest. We're going to go with that. Okay. You know what? Let's leave it. That's our that's our cook. Now the female, same thing. Let's get that button up shirt going. <laughs> Maybe the ladies just have are dressed as Santa. All right, flares. What are what are ladies gonna like wearing? The baggies like looks kind of gross. Let's get the same pants. You gotta have I don't know why, but okay, not heels. Good lord, sneakers as well. Oh, these poor ladies. Could you imagine working a whole shift with the? Okay, there. they can have like little toques on. No, no, they're gonna have the same. Yeah, there we go. Okay, there we go. Good. Save. Save. That's the cook boys. All right. So the cook boys. Uh, edit group. Uh, uniform editor. Whoops. 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 The cook boys, please. Save group. There we go. We got Vito and Richard. Uh, Vito Spiglioli. Yeah, he's our cook boy. Now he doesn't want to clean, but Richard can clean. Richard uh, also is our fry cook. He's actually a very skilled cook all around. Just as long as he's not touching the stove. You are our server. You don't like, or you're not good at cleaning, but you don't hate it. You do like prepping food, though. That's not bad. We'll keep that in mind. All right. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Cleaning zones. Oh, my goodness. I love this game. Okay, we can't get our cleaning areas uh, assigned just yet, and we can't assign our uh, tools until we get some uh, stuff going on in our menu. We have some here already. This isn't bad. Uh, meat and fish. Mom's love. Uh, okay, I didn't know about this. This is not bad. It's sweet home. These are examples, I guess. Uh, if we add this to the menu, like, what are we doing here? It needs to be grilled and boiled. Add to menu. And right away, it's going to say that we have a problem, I wager. Boiled, baked, and spiced, seared. Let's go. Let's add the meat and fish to the menu, then. Add to menu. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I can't perform grill, so we need to, we need to buy a grill. We've got 1,400 doubloons left. Oh, it doesn't feel good, does it? <laughs> Deluxe grill. I'm still going Deluxe. I'm still going Deluxe. I swear to you. I'm gonna, you know, I, I'm starting hard. That didn't help at all. In fact, that made the outside worse. <laughs> okay, never mind then. Okay, there we go. Lose conditions hit any employee breakpoint. Oh my goodness, this could be bad. This could be bad. Okay. Food storage. Uh, we can see everything that's used in a recipe here is automatically requested, so that's good. Let's go into our recipe editor here, and like, let's just create... Uh, let's take a look. Menu. Buttery, seared, sour, sweet, fresh, and boiled. So these are the kinds of things that we want to see here. Now, could we get anything else? Decadent, exotic... What, what is in the Twisted Sister? This looks crazy. I don't want to do the Twisted Sister. What about mom's love? Boiled and baked. We don't have an oven, so I'm not going to do mom's love, but I think baking things is probably going to be a good idea. If we go into the recipe editor, let's uh, go ahead and try to do some buttery... What about... Okay, wait, hang, me, hang on, hang on. Do we have any... Uh, are there fries? 
Potato fries. Let's go potato fries. Oh, wait, sorry. New recipe. We're going to call this uh, Mom's... Mom's Fry Up. Fries Up. It's like a fry up. It's a classic English fry up, but not at all. We, you know what? I'm going to get yelled at, so I'm probably going to have to do a proper English fry up. I promise if this goes well, we'll do that. All right, we'll do that. We're going to do this, but we're going to also add in some butter. All right, that feels good. So buttery deep fried fries. Buttery crackers. Oh, that's cute. Okay, what else do we have here? Like, what should be, what should go with the, with mom's fries up? <laughs> this thing I just made up. What about some chicken wing? What if it's a chicken? What if it's a chicken breast? And it's grilled, baby. And uh, we got some spices on it here. I'd like to see spices that are already used in other recipes. I think there is a way to see that. I'm not 100% sure. We're gonna put some salt in there. Salt here. What are we looking at this dish now? It's fried, it's buttery, it's grilled. People like all that. Let's go with a... Um, like, what would be good here? Basil. Okay, what about some spice sauces and spices? We, we could make it spicy. I think that might be a bit much. Tex-Mex seasoning to me. There we are, spiced. To me, this seems like that's going to be a good recipe. And I feel like that's somewhat simple. Uh, and that's what I'm looking for to get started. I want to really be doing some simple meals. I'm going to go over here and collect and change the dis dish appearance. So when it goes to the table, it looks like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and save it. Now, over in the menu editor, it's... Oh, it's already been added. Okay, that's great. Now, if we ignore the global markup, which is a 500% markup, good lord. <laughs> um, they, they, people can come and buy this. This is, this is Canada right now, by the way. This is how much of this... Oh, man, this is an expensive... This is a complicated dish. These dishes are complicated. I think maybe I need to look at these and try to make some complicated dishes like that. What I'm concerned about for this day is how hard it is for me apparently the the i made that really hard i'm, I'm kind of scared about that any employee breaking point good lord negative balance at the end of the day also not ideal but any employee break point i should have turned that off that's crazy employees are gonna break all the time well now they can't at any rate folks uh, um i am going to get all this loaded up and then we need to look at these menus that they provided up these recipes and take a look at like what it takes to make a good dish because these are this is fancy and I feel like that actually might be important. Like, this is probably way too simple. There's only a few ingredients in here, whereas we got all kinds of crazy stuff going on. So we might need to look at that and kind, kind of consider what, it go, what goes into making sort of a good recipe. But we have three things on the menu. One of them being cheap. One of them being real cheap, but kind of hard to make. And then this, this is our kind of premier dish. Uh, a lot of grilling and frying, a little bit of deep frying. Um... I don't know. I think we're just about ready. So let's go into food storage here. Let's make sure we've got uh, keep minimum stored globally ticked on. This is new for me, at least. I don't know if it's new in the final release of the game, but if it is, I love this because what you can do here is we're going to just go and like, let's say we have like keep 10 of everything. Now that's going to kill dry storage. So let's keep seven of everything, leaving a lot of room in dry storage. Let's go find out what's in two things and let's click ignore global purchase and then bump these up to 10. Uh, maybe even more, but let's see how many we have to stock here first. One, it's used in two recipes, used in one recipe. I'm confused about what two... I don't know what two and two means in one and two. Uh, maybe it's used in... I'm not sure. We're going to ignore the global purchase for that one. And any other ones we find that are one and twos. I just want to make sure if it's being used in multiple recipes that we're actually storing like 10 or 12 things of this. Then, I believe, I don't know if you go through one brown beans every time you do a dish, or if you go through pieces of brown beans and we go through the meat a lot faster. I'm not 100% sure about that. So, if we want, we can always cancel, ignore global purchase, and then up the pork loin purchasing. But, every hour, we get ingredients delivered. So, like, this is kind of okay. As, as long as we can keep a rolling stock, we're going to get topped up and maintain these numbers. What's interesting about this, though, is it looks like some stuff gets stored at the bar, which we don't have yet. Oh, only certain things like cheese, a cheese drink at the bar, lemon. Oh, man, getting into drink designing is going to be nuts in this game. All right. I think we're good. I think we've got our menu all sorted out here. This is feeling really good. Let's close that. It's going to be delivered immediately as soon as we open. How much is that going to cost me? That's going to cost me 143 doubloons. So that's good. We've got our staff. We do have to pay them. Hopefully not too much, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, we've got our staff. 
We've got our restaurant somewhat designed here. Not too exciting on the walls and stuff just yet, uh, but it's it is what we need. And we have a hundred, a hundred, a thousand. We have we have ten one hundreds <laughs> saved up. This is too challenging. I might not this this playthrough might not actually last very long. We might have to start this again to be honest, but we're gonna find out right now by opening this restaurant. Okay, let's pause immediately. We've screwed up immediately. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so we're gonna go here. Now, Vito is probably our best deep fryer. Uh, and by saying that, I, I thought he really loved deep frying, but anyway. Now, our uh, best fryer actually is Vito. Not bad. Okay, and the grill master in chief is gonna be Richard. So we got Richard there. We got Vito here. Everybody's twos across the board in frying, deep frying. Well, there's a lot of grilling to do, so Richard's gonna be on that. Let's put Richard as a two on this. I mean, really, you kinda need everybody on it, just in case one of them's on a break. Let's go Vito here, and let's put uh, Richard as a third. I mean, does he love, oh, he also does love frying, but we don't have a lot of frying to do. Then let's go into our cleaning areas and assign some cleaning areas. There we are, so we're gonna assign that to uh, Richard, who doesn't seem to mind it. I don't think our server's gonna have very much to do with these three tables. If it's four, if it's three, four tops at a time though, we're, we're basically potentially gonna be screwed. So let's make this whole restaurant area one cleaning area. All right, and then let's make the bathrooms a new cleaning area. There we go. So this cleaning area is gonna be cleaned by Julie Ford. Julie, she's taking this. She's also going to take these tables here. Oh, okay, let's get out of cleaning. She's gonna take these these tables, which she's actually like our one of our better servers, so I love that. Now, if she freaks out, who can we have help out? I think maybe we put Vito on that because he does love it. We just want him to be a third. We do not want anybody to, you know, be, we don't, hopefully he doesn't have to come out and serve the tables. That's what I'm saying. Now, we're open. Let's unpause. Let's turn off this nasty ambience overlay. Let's get them in here and let's immediately take a look at their thoughts. Because we, we want to make sure... Eh, it means less money. Okay, so these are the debuffs. A low opinion of the restaurant. Empty tables mean less money. Nobody likes the restaurant. Lowest paid person here. So she's going to have a minus one debuff because she's the lowest person here. If I raise her wage, she won't become the highest person paid person here because it has to be... It has to beat Richard Graham. I've got to get somebody underneath her that doesn't mind uh, not being paid very much. Uh, that is not necessarily... I don't know, going to happen. Okay, so we've got our first four customers coming in here. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is challenging. I'm already so scared. And like, these are the only customers we've had all day. All right, we're currently at a minus 143, and that's because we brought in the ingredients. But if we're, we're not going to buy ingredients every hour, we're only going to buy what we're missing because we've now topped our fridge and our dry storage up. Julie's taking the order. Okay, another, it looks like a two, oh boy, oh boy. It's a four top, another four top is coming in. Running low on potato fries. Can only prefer three more fry ups. So I'm gonna actually, um, if we go to eight, eight can sustain that. Okay, great. So in, a, in the next three minutes, we're gonna get uh, four more fries for the potato fry ups. It looks like a lot of potato fry ups have been ordered, which are the ones I made, by the way, mom's fry ups. I feel good about that. Okay, so here on this menu, the order queue, you can kind of see what's going on. Now, a new thing that I've seen... Oh, thank you, Richard. We're off to a good start here, I think. Uh, one thing I've noticed here is you can also kind of click on the table. I don't know if this is part of the full release or if this is when one of their recent updates. I should look through their history. But look at this. We can force prepare certain dishes. So, like, let's say a table's been waiting and they're about to freak out, but there's another table waiting and it's about to freak out, and it's a four top versus a one top or something, and he's about to leave. Let's not waste time trying to deal with this table. Let's force the order over here to be done, but I'm not going to do that uh, right now because I've found, I believe we got a lineup. I have found that it doesn't always work in my favor when I try to kind of like micro things. It's way better to just organize your restaurant in a way that you believe is gonna be efficient and then just try your best to uh, keep up. Okay, we've got something very... Right, by the way, that record scratch sound, least favorite sound effect in the whole game. Least favorite sound effect. <laughs> it is so stressful to hear that noise. But so far, we've only heard it once. We've heard a ding. So our first four top is now out the door and here. Let's click on them. 
Let's cut on this dude here. What do we got? Jeffrey Salazar. Plus two for being with friends. He likes chicken. Hates carrots. Good. He's stingy. That's no good. And he farts a bunch. We've got an employee for hire. Now, unfortunately, with that, we have to go, like, talk to this person. Okay, what do we have on cleaning? You should be cleaning right now. Richard Graham. Okay, let's put Vito. He hates it, but let's do it anyway. Just in If he's got nothing to do, he should be cleaning, unfortunately. All right, Julie, how are you doing? You're bored right now, so let's get you to go talk to this person so we can send them on their way. I don't think I can afford another employee. I'd love to have another employee, but I can't afford it. Not interested. Go away. Order queue. Cooking, cooking, cooking. How are we doing for patience-wise? Patience is doing okay. Two of the customers here are using the bathroom, and that's always the thing they do at the end of their, you know, enjoyment of their restaurant. <laughs> so I think it's a, always a roll on how many. So this seems to have rolled a two. He's going to sit down. Hopefully our first dish. Oh, boy. I hate that noise. Oh, they're happy. That was a big boost. We wanted that. That was really nice. We got a little bit of money in the door, and people are quite happy with our restaurant. That is good. Now, Vito. Looks like he's, he probably, because he hates cleaning, so he's actually, thank you, Vito. Is he going to rest? Yeah, he's going to rest. Good. Now, he's resting in a pretty green area, so this is hopefully going to help recoup some of that mood, because his mood is low, and apparently I'm going to lose the entire game if anybody gets stressed out at all. What kind of restaurant is this? Okay, that's been delivered. What are we waiting on this last one? What do we have? Cooking. Two mom fry-ups and a sweet home. Two mom fraps and a sweet baby home. Uh, I'd like to see... Can I see how that's... Okay, it's not letting me... Okay, all right. Now I've forgotten how to do that right-click thing. Or maybe it's because I can't... I see, yeah, there's not really much... Okay, I can't really do much about that. Okay, we got people waiting for the bathroom. This is not ideal, which means they're going to want another bathroom. But at this rate, I'm not going to make very much money. <laughs> they didn't seem to get upset. So that's okay. Vito has performed exceptionally well again. We've got some snowy weather coming in. This is another piece, uh, a thing that I love about this game. Look at this. Oh my goodness, the snow comes in. Okay, we got a dish coming up. Yeah, see, this customer flow, this is going to be bad for our popularity. This is about to hit our popularity really, really bad. That's good, though. We got up to a 17. As long as we can make these people happy. Once you get them in the door, their timers, I believe, they t they reset. So their patience meter is going to reset, but these these three here, they are going to drag our reputation down in a second. Vito here, I'm watching him, hates cleaning. we got to take him off the cleaning crew, I think. This is bad. we got to take him off the cleaning crew. I can't afford anybody to freak out. We really need Richard Graham to be more free, but he's got... If I hover over him, I can see that he has... He's assigned to a lot of things, but he's also the first in a lot of things. Okay, Vito, I need to get you busier. What can you do? Vito's at a breaking point. Okay, uh, go rest. That's what you can do. Might have to send him home, to be honest. Vito's rest is pending. We might lose the game now. Okay, so customer groove left. That didn't seem to kill our stamina. Our mood, rather. Richard's performing exceptionally well. We got this guy's mood going up. Running low on orange. I'm not too worried about that. Let's get, um... Running low on ingredients... Oh, no, Julie Ford is going to break. Okay, this, you know what? This might actually be a situation where we... Okay, go, yeah, no, no, keep resting. This might be a situation where maybe this is a one episode how to get set up. Clearly, I'm not doing that well. What if we close early? We might have to close early, folks. This could affect our, 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 our happiness. But Julie's about to break, which is going to cost us the rest of the day. Why is she upset? Okay, I'm the most paid person here. Let's see if we can get... There we go. I'm paid really well. Okay, that's raising hers. Nobody likes this. Why are his thoughts so... It's just because he hates everything. Okay, her mood is slightly improving. Still upset that she's the lowest paid. Naturally, Griffin gave her a little bit of inspiration. Vito Spigioli is pretty close. Okay, they're going to break. They're going to break. We're going to lose. At this point, I'm just kind of like, are we closed yet? I just want to be closed. I think we need more staff then. I think that's kind of what we're looking at here. Vito, he's performing well, but he's just so upset with himself all the time. Okay, let's let's give her a raise here. Okay, I think her mood's getting a little better. No, she's got a zero right now. Hamish Mills is getting on her nerves. Can we kick Hamish Mills out? Nobody likes this restaurant. Yeah, there's not much I can do about that. We're up to an 18 though. It's not terrible. We just need somebody to clean. 
She's about to break. We're about to lose the game. I can't believe we're about to lose the game here. Well, folks, this is how you get started in Recipe for Disaster. And here's a lesson I've learned. Uh, things... Oh, we got... Oh, no. She broke. She's going to go lie down. And we set this thing too hard. My goodness. This is... Um, yeah, this is definitely a much more challenging experience than I remember. And I'm going to need your tips. But I would also like to know your comments down below. What do you think, folks? Do you think... Uh, that we should do a let's play of this like should we get into this and figure out what makes these people break? I think we needed honestly. I think this room needed to be a much higher stat like the, the kitchen and I feel like um, Julie was just too busy. I think it didn't seem like that was what was upsetting her though It seems like the customers kind of upset her. So maybe if we had one more server here, we would have been okay I don't think we were we were losing money like crazy like this looks bad obviously with these three tables. You want your turnover to be higher, but we basically need a person who goes around cleaning, I think. Um, I'm paid really well. That was good. I'm the lowest paid person here was a problem. We probably could have gotten... Yeah, we should get another staff member in the mix so we have three people being paid. And then we can kind of jockey their pay around and make sure that they're being paid. Like, she's being paid really well, but Lois, you know, I mean, this is it's, it's kind of hard to overcome these staff issues. And I think one strategy, honestly, uh, to keep this game going would have been to, um, to close early. We have 900 doubloons. We could have closed early, reassessed, spent a bit of money making things a little happier in here. Uh, but again, our restaurant was doing okay. So if we had closed early, maybe that gives us a chance to hire another staff, really think about our organization, like where we're putting people, uh, make sure this area is getting cleaned because this is probably going to be real bad news uh, come inspection time. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you found it to be some truly solid content. I very much had fun with it. However, here I am showing you an absolute failure on my part. I think what we might do if we did a let's play, like leave your comments down below. We'll see how this video does. You know what I mean? And uh, we can start again if we're really liking it and we want to see another restaurant. I'd really like to see the bar. So, I mean, I might just play it. You know what I mean? Uh, but maybe we race through the starting. No, maybe we just do another episode and we try it again. You know what I mean? Like maybe we just start again with the lessons learned and we try to do this. And we're going to try to do it hard too. <laughs> like I said, hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully we see you in the next video of whatever it is we decide to play. But congrats on Recipe for Disaster. Uh, for getting to the out of early access mode. Welcome to the open wide world of finished and very fun games, Recipe for Disaster. We love you. You're an excellent tycoon game. Excellent work, developers. And <laughs> we'll see you all in the next video of whatever it, whatever it is that I play.